looking for me. Okay, again I say, please turn to page number 453, right today's date, 14 Feb. We'll continue with the lesson, multiplying fractions. Here you have six times three over eight. I multiply the numerator, I write 18. I multiply the denominator, 18 over eight. Both of them, they come in the timetable of two. I need to divide by two. So I get nine over four. Nine over four. Now this nine over four, if I divide nine and four, I get two is the queen, one over four. This is my answer, guys. Okay, next question. Girls, when you get such kind of question, there's a there's very one easy thing, girls. If denominator, remember that. If you want, you can write down here. If denominator and numerator, just write on N-U-M, that is numerator, D-E-N, denominator, are same, you can cut them, girls, like eight ones and eight ones. If the numerator, it can be crossed if it is multiplicated. Yes, I didn't understand. I don't like really example, understand. see. If it is four by four, what is the answer? If it's four by four equals um, what do you call it? Sixty. Right? Only if it is four over four. What is the answer? One. Four divided by four is one. That's what. Similarly, similarly, if you get even even eight and eight here, but it is times. When it is times, that means you can cancel them. Ones and eight times one. Understood? Now or no, not yet? Not yet. Okay, okay. We go with the another one. Multiply the numerator, but girls, remember when it is same in the numerator and the denominator. The numerator has eight, denominator has eight. I will just cut them. Is it okay if you remember this rule? That if you see the same number in the numerator and denominator, you will cut it. Will you remember that? And you'll write one. Now, what is left in the numerator? Three. What is left in the denominator? Nine. If you divide by three, you get one over three. This is your answer. If in case, girls, you don't remember this, if in case you forget that you, if they are same and you need to. So simple, multiply the numerator, you get 24. And multiply the denominator. You get nine times eight is 72. Both of them could be divided by eight. And you get three over nine. That is nothing but divide by three. That is one over three. This is your answer. Is this easy? This question yes. some with practice girls. Like today I have done this, sit at home and do it again. If you don't get it, ask me again. Now this, numerator will be multiplied with the numerator. In denominator, there is nothing, I'll write one. Two times 27 is 54 over three. Divide by three, both the numbers. If I divide by three, both the numbers, I get 54 and three. I get 18. I huh? What? I really understand. Because one second, one second. See, there is one easy way, but you all are not able to get that. I don't know why. Try, let us try, girls. Let us try today. Uh, no worries. Two over three. Aisha, please, can you go there? Two over three times 27. Now see, that means this three can be simplified with any number. You will check which two numbers in the numerator and denominators come in the same timetable. Does two and three come in the same timetable? No. 
Just three and 27 come in the same timetable? Yes. Three times, what gives you three? Three times, what gives you three? One. Yes. Three times, what gives you 27? Um, uh, uh, eight. That's why oh, we have no. the timetables. Three times one gives you 27. Three, sorry, three times one is three. Three times nine is two. Now, what is there in the numerator? Two times nine. What is there in the denominator? Sorry, one times one. So what is your answer? My answer is 18. This is the easiest, this is the easiest way to do. But still, if you don't get it, there are many ways. 2 over 3 times 27. Just multiply the numerator and denominator. I get 54 in the numerator and I get denominator as 3. Divide them. See, I get this. Okay, this one is easy. Just divide this. Three ones are three, and I get 24. Three eights are 24. I get zero. So my answer is 18. Kalas, this is my answer. I don't have 18, zero over three. I will never write zero. I'll just write 18 as an answer. If you have some number here, I will write queen, one over three or something. Finished? Miss no. No? Okay, I'll just do control Z. Oh, I cannot. I, do you want me to do again? I will do it, no worries. 227, simple. You need to put one year. You need to know that two times 27 is 54 and three, and then you need to divide. So you get finish. So the answer is 18. Understood? Yes, I finished. Okay, yeah. Come on, this one. Come on, multiply the numerator. Five times three, 12 times five. So I get five times three is 15. 12 times five is 60. 15 and 60, they come in the timetable of? Let me check. 15 times what gives me 16? Let me check 15 times. No. 15 times four. Okay, so 15 divided by 15, divided by 15. So I get one over four. If you don't know that it can be divided by 15, you can check with the smaller numbers. You can check with three, you can do with anything else. I know simplification is very tough for you. Done? Yes. Okay, here. Yeah. Half. Five. So it will be three. One multiplied by three is three. And two times five is 10. They cannot be in the same timetable, so I don't need to simplify. So just answer is three over 10. I'll give you such kind of question. I'll not give you simplification questions, inshallah. But you need to learn, girls. That doesn't mean you will leave it. Now here, two times four is eight, and three times five is 15, Follows. Eight and 15 never comes in the any same time tip. Eight and 16, okay. Eight and 15, never. Five times one, five. Three times eight, 24. This is your answer. These all are without simplification. Hmm. 
Miss, what's number eight? Number eight, I will do it. First you finish this and then I'll go to number eight. Can I clear this? Oof. A simple one, girls. What do you know how to ask it? Four times, if there's nothing, that means one. What is four times one? Four. What is five times one? Five. This is your answer. Isn't it simple? But when it comes to simplification, you all are too scared. Come on, girls. We have to quickly finish on your own. Very simple. Come on, do it. Two times one is two. One time eight is eight. Now see, girls. Learn to do this way, please. Can't you? Two times one, two times four. Your answer is one over four. Still is tough for you, girls? Miss, why did you... One to like one to like two is one. See, it's like two times what give you two? One. I wrote here. Two times what give you eight? Four. Yes, I wrote here. Understood now? Four. You have to divide by two. Two divided by two, one. Eight divided by two, four. Either way, write this also and do like this also. Whatever feels easy, you do that. Now you have 16, 4 times 4, 16, and uh, 9, 5, 45. You cannot. I didn't really understand. Okay, just simply learn how to do the numerator and denominator. Like 1 over one times 2 is 2. 3 times 12 is 36. If I divide both by 2, I get 1 over 18. Two times four, eight and 35. This is direct. You cannot further do it. This one, 28 or 40. Girls, 20 and, 28 and 40, which timetable they come together? Four. When will you know this, that they come in the four? When you know the timetable is very good, that four times seven is 28 and four times 10 is 40. You got the answer. I used to do this way, girls, and this is very simple. Once you learn this way, You'll be very quick at it. Four times seven, four times 10. My answer is seven over 10. Again, I show you, you, you speak to yourself, write down your 28 over 40, 28 over 40, okay? And first question yourself, which timetable they to come together? 28 comes in four times seven and four times 10. Yes, they both come together in four. So I just get asked myself, four times what is 28? Seven. Four times what is 40? 10. My answer is 7 over 10. Sixteen and 20. Which timetable it comes together? 16 and 24. Jana, 16 and 24. Which timetable it comes together? Um. In timetable? 4. Um. Four times four is 16. Four times, four times six is 24. But still we have four or six. Or simple girls. If you don't understand this, even this way you don't understand, write down 16 and write down 24. And just divide by eight. You get two over three. 8, 16 divided by 8 is 2, 24 divided by 8 is 3. Finish? Hmm? I cannot hear you. 
Miss, can you hear us? Now, yes. Can I erase? Yeah. Last two questions. Thirty over seven. If I divide seven times four, twenty-eight. Two. So we are at four is the queen. Two over seven is the answer. So this or this. Five times four, twenty. And five. 20 divided by five is directly four. This is your answer. Any questions here? No. No questions. Finish up? Yeah. Take care. Guys. Yes, I'm waiting. Finish? Okay, finish. Now, girls, see yeah. here. I'm going to share white screen and give you some questions. Maybe you can do. Let us start with the timetable of two. If I give you eight and 16, they both come in the timetable of eight, right? So how do I simplify? Eight, one, yes. eight, two. My answer is half. If maybe maybe you forget the timetable of eight, you don't know. Oh, is it like this? Is it yeah. just like yes. this? Yes, it's just like this. See, if they if they uh, maybe you don't remember that it is in the eight. You you say that it's in two. Yes, it comes in two. Two times what? Two times? What? Tell me two times what is eight? Four. Four. Two times? Uh two times eight. Very good. Now more four and eight. In which timetable together? Four and eight. Four and eight. With four and eight, they're in timetable two. Two, okay, again two, and also four, okay. Two, two times two, two times four. Again, four. two times one, two times two. Your answer is half. See, you get the same answer. Even if you do with eight, even if you do with two, even if you do with four, let me do with four and show you. Four times two, four times four, two times one, two times two. My answer is half. It's this way, girls. Like example, nine and 27, which timetable you'll do? Nine and 27. Tell me, which timetable will you choose? That is the first question. You must know which timetable will I choose? Nine, three. Three. I'll cut this three times. Three. Three times? Nine. Very good. But still, three over nine, is it simplified? No, three and nine comes together in which time table? Miss, like, but um, so you can, can you also do three over three? Or do you do like the bigger number? You can do with anything. Like, tell me the question. Tell me your question. If I, if I say you, 35 over seven, seven times one and 75. Same thing if it is seven over 35, same thing. Seven times one, seven times five. My answer is one over ten. Like uh, twenty-five divided by fifteen. Which timetable they come together? Fifteen and twenty-five. Five. Five. How will you do? Five times. Five times. What gives me fifteen? Three. My answer is five over ten. This is called simplification. Some of them, they don't like to cut and do it. They do this way. They write here, divided by five, divided by five. And then they write five over three. This way or this way? Both are correct. Okay? That's it for the class today. Have a nice day.
Bye. Bye. Bye.